So I want to talk to you about uh, Breath of Fire. Uh, Breath of Fire is really powerful. It's really easy to do. Uh, what it'll do, it'll heat you up, it'll give you loads of energy, and it's quick. It's really quick to do. And the way you do it is from your stomach, right? So what you're doing is you're breathing out, but you're breathing out in sharp, short bursts. So, and you're only, the only place you're fixed on is the breath out, not the breath in. Right? So, so it's like this. <laughs> so what you do is you, 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 you push the breath out from the diaphragm. So you pull the diaphragm in and you, that then pushes the air out. And then what you do, once you breathe that, and then you just let go. And the body will naturally fill back up and then you push it back out. So, and you can do this. I do this in classes as well. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll relax it a bit. So I'll be like. It's the for really relaxing. Yeah. 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 So you can do that as well. Uh, but and the way I would recommend you do it is you start off slow. So. You can do, I would do it in minutes, so maybe do it, so build it up, so maybe do it like a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and, and the more you do it, the longer you can do it for. Um, I, I got up to 20, 30 minutes, right? but I wouldn't go by that far. I would start with one minute, because you know you have to build the muscles up, mm. you have to train, you condition the body to be able to do that. Um, and uh, so basically, start off slow, so because it's a technique to learn right mm. so just focus on the most important thing is the technique right mm. uh, it's not how many you do you want to make sure that each one is as perfect as you can make it so you're pushing the air up and as you're doing it like you could do a minute and then after that you speed it up so you go And as you're, so let's say you're going to do, I don't know, let's say you're going to do three minutes. So the last minute, you can make it really fast. You know, like really speed it up. And then at the end of it, what you do, you just let go and then you relax. And then you just sit in it. And what you're doing is, it's created a certain resonance, resonance in the body. I feel lightheaded now. <laughs> um, you can feel, yeah, so there's a certain resonance it creates in the body. And what you want to do is you want to, what's the word, stay in it, revel in it. I think those are the right words. Uh, you want to, yeah, I'm not using the right words. Um, you want to be imbued by it and enjoy it. So you just, so you just meditate in that feeling, in that state in that energy and just stay there for however long you've got, a uh, couple of minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is, and enjoy it it's like a meditation. So you could do it at the beginning of your meditation yeah. and then at the end of it, just meditate. Um, one of the best ways to do it is to do it sitting like this, but you can do it in lots of different places. Um, you could also do it lying down, yeah. Like I've done it lying down. You know, um, just, you can do it standing up as well, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend uh, standing up, not for a long yeah, period, just in case, yeah, yeah, just in case you become too lightheaded and fall down. Um, so I've done that mistake with other different, uh, breathing yeah. techniques where I have fainted. Um, so don't want to do that. So that's that's the breath. Uh, that's breath of fire. Very powerful.